So next on the agenda for the restoration process is this big uh, cabinet. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, I, I renovated, this has actually been an old cabinet in a business that I updated and put all that timber on it, um, probably about 15 years ago. Um, and then when I was renting this place out, see these are just all cabinet doors. When I was renting this place out, some idiot decided to take off one of the doors and do that to it. So I'm pretty disappointed about that, but I'm going to fix that up. And it just so happens that I've actually got some of that timber left. So um, that should come back um, pretty good, although this door is going to look a hell of a lot newer than the other ones, uh, just out of fading. Um, but yeah, we'll remove those shelves. Yeah, so that's old cedar decking. So that used to be a deck. These um, top ones, that was probably out of the same deck, but that's um, their uh, Oregon joists. Um, so it's all recycled stuff, and we're going to recycle it again and give it another life. Um, so we'll get those shelves out, and we'll fix it up on the inside to, to a bit. Um, we'll get some a uh, bit of be a better base in there. We'll probably paint the insides just so it's nice and clean and you know put a clear finish on the outsides and then do the um, beeswax linseed oil wax on the top as well so that's going to be a nice flush little cabinet when it's done so uh, mind you there is a fair bit of work in this one so let's get into it first thing i'm going to do is uh fix this top up See how rough this cabinet is. <coughs> you know, it's got holes in the back, and it's uh, you know just old chipboard. The top's really rough. Needs a good sand back. We need to fill these gaps again. Build a door. Build some shelves in there. Sand all this up, and then um, get it back inside. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is sand back this uh, very rough uh, top and we're going to whack on the 40 grit sandpaper. Um, so let's get into it. So we'll go over it with the 40 grit and when that's all done, we'll go over it with the 60 grit and after that probably give it a rub down with the 80 grit. Um, just the piece of sandpaper in my hand. You know, it's really good when you find out you can actually use these stupid masks for something.
All right, so I took the doors off this and gave it a good sand back on the edges and um, and given it a coat, of, a single coat of the clear um, just on all the faces. Uh, I haven't bothered with the doors because I can just do them at any stage and screw them on, but um, I need to clean up the insides of these anyway. And I just wanted to get all the hinges and clips off just to make it easy. I get into uh, waxing the, the top or filling all these gaps with waxes with wax sorry uh, so what I pull the wax in there and wait for it to dry <laughs> um, which will take a while um, but yeah you have to um, seal up underneath as well so you might not be able to see it but I've got these little um, fillet pieces that I've nailed up um, just so the wax doesn't drip through because when it's hot, it's it's really runny and it just runs straight through. So you have to seal the underneath, and that's where I'm going to do this bit. And I'll just do the um, the four edges, and then I'll do the rest. All right, the wax is hot, and what I'm going to do is give these guys. <coughs> A quick uh, rub with my linseed oil um, and wax finish um, just because the wax sticks so I'm hoping this makes it not stick so much so this is all a bit experimental and it's not a perfect finish if you have to pour the wax and then pour the wax again a second time it doesn't uh, quite stick well so you need to get it right in one go, otherwise it's not going to be perfect. But um, I don't need perfect, I just need done. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I've got wax dripping everywhere. It's drying, but well, I'm just glad I coated this side because... Um, that wouldn't really uh, wreck my job. <laughs> And that's not running down the inside of the cabinet. See? Gone. Yep, ran down the inside cabinet. Damn it. So the filling's all done and it's not a perfect finish. Some of it's better than others. But um, I'm going to be happy with that. And when the um, paste goes on it, um, it's going to hide any imperfections, it's going to fill the little holes, etc. So now I have to get this uh, wax off. And if you ever use sandpaper on wax, it kills the sandpaper real quick. So I use some old stuff. Um, this is uh, just a bit of 60 that um, I cut a belt up. So we'll get the most of it off of that.
now for the bit that makes it all pretty. get rid of these tiny little screws and replace them with something that's going to hold a little bit better. Uh, those ones came with the packet. But this door's got a bit of weight to it so we'll uh, just put some bigger screws in. Mm -hmm. 